You're being accused of underscanning and allowing your aunt to walk out. A mishap, a mishap in the car. A, a what? A mishap in the car. Mishap? You stole sixteen thousand dollars from me since January. What did you want to say? I'm honestly just so sorry. I mean, I don't expect you to go home. Hey man, I need you to roll over. You, you, need, to roll get over. you need to roll over. You need to roll over. Stepping into your workplace, you expect the usual routine. Clock in, do your job, and clock out. But sometimes the most unexpected things happen, turning an ordinary day into a complete disaster. From shocking outbursts to bizarre behavior, some people take bad day at work to a whole new level. In this video, we're diving into those unbelievable moments when things went so wrong they ended in handcuffs. Get ready for the wildest stories of when dumb people get arrested at work. This is Missing Files. Amazon delivery man arrested. Our next case takes place in November 2021 in Ohio. Police were closely following and monitoring an Amazon delivery driver who was exhibiting some unusual driving behavior. After driving up onto the curb, the police decided to act, worried about the safety of other drivers on the road. They pulled the driver over and he obliged. Their worst suspicions were confirmed, though, when the smell of alcohol and verbal cues hinted towards the driver being inebriated. Affirmative. Okay, yeah, he just ran up on the curb. I'm going to stop him. He, uh, 91 near Petty Bone. How you doing today? Okay. Yeah? You're just okay, or? What's going on today? You're what? I got you. You got a driver's license on you? Do you have anything to drink today, or? No. Do you have any medical conditions or anything? Uh, depression. Do you know, uh, can you say the alphabet starting with E and ending with W? The driver is asked to exit the vehicle so that he can take part in the standard sobriety tests. After a brief interview, the process begins, but it's obvious he won't be passing. Hey, you can come back this way. You're just going to go back this way a little bit on this. You don't have anything in your pockets or no, nothing, uh, no no razor blades, no nothing like that. Just, okay. All right. What? What were? Uh, you see yourself driving up on the curb? You notice that at all? Yeah, I, I screwed up. Well, what was going on? I just wasn't paying attention. I mean, it was all down the road, though. You kind of, you hit the curb a couple times, didn't you? Yeah, I was, I was done with my route, and I just screwed up. Yeah. All right. Do me a favor. Take your hat off for me real quickly. And then, um, can you see the tip of my finger here? Mm -hmm. Just follow the tip of my finger with your eyes, okay? Don't move your head, just your eyes, all right? After the terrible performance, the employee is arrested. He complies with demands and is moved into a police vehicle. The police hope that a quick search of the vehicle will prove that he was drinking on the job. Okay, do me a favor. We're going to place your hands right behind your back, all right? I'm going to place you under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? All right, is there alcohol in the car or what happened today? You just, uh, have a couple for when you're working or all right have a seat right in I know, I think, I bet there's going to be booze in here, here it is. Uh, 
The driver was charged with driving OVI and driving in marked lanes. You're being accused of underscanning and allowing your aunt to walk out. Stealing $8,000 in snacks. Our final case takes place on the 4th of April, 2022. Police attended a dollar store after reports that over $8,000 worth of stock, specifically snacks, had been stolen. An employee and her mother had come up with a scheme to fill a trolley full of items, only to not scan them and process them properly. It turned out that this had happened at a previous workplace, but the officers did not know this when they first began their unusual investigation. You know what the manager called? I am the manager. Okay, you're the one who called? Yes. What's going on? So, yeah, because it's kind of a tricky situation. That's the statement she wrote. With her aunt. So, her, I mean, her knowingly scanning and yeah. allowing her to steal, that's a criminal offense in itself, but... Well, about 15 minutes ago, the ladies who were the last ones to come through with stuff came back in, and their carts are still sitting over there when they realized I wouldn't let her come out and bring them out. Okay. Um, the only... I have pictures of the transaction from the register because it wouldn't let me reprint them. Okay. So... This is what she rang up. That's what she gave away. And I can show you on the big camera too. And then she rang up a drink and that's the cart he pushed out. And the only thing she rang up was the drink? The drink, yeah. That's the actual receipt for the transaction. Okay. And that's on the drum drive. Can you, oh, that's, this is all on the drum drive? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I can take this, right? Yes. Cool. Um, she told me to have it already, so. Yeah, that makes Everything will either pay for. Give her a sip of I'm just going to put my stuff And then this and is. The employee is Amy Rankin. I'm yeah. guessing. Okay. And that's when she signed it. So. And she put her employee number. I didn't. Um, I don't know if you need the original or the copy. I was just told to make a copy of it. Okay. So. And then these are like when I went through and watched the video. I didn't put all of this on there because it wouldn't have fit, but what is all, oh, okay. this is, and this is the list of stuff I could see in the cards that got taken. Can you do, did you make copies of all that? No, not yet. Do you make copies of all that front yeah. and back if you would? The officers have seen the evidence and are prepared to interview the suspect on her behavior. The woman is keen to play the victim and calls her mother to inform her about what's happening. Back in the office, the cops are getting more paperwork together to back up their case. We'll be placed under arrest for grand retail theft. Yes. Um, tell me what's going on, like, you're being accused of underscanning and allowing your aunt to walk out. <laughs> like, I c you know how many different felonies you can get from this? It's organized retail theft, basically, is what it is. Whether it was your idea or not, you went along with it. <laughs> Did you get dropped off here, or is your vehicle in the My vehicle's here. Okay. Hey, um, I'm getting ready to go to jail. Can you have someone come get it? Because I let somebody walk out of here with stuff yesterday. Yeah. I don't know. So, I will let you know when I can get a bond hearing or whatever. No, you'll have a bond tonight set by me. He said I'll have a bond setting set tonight. I'm not sure how much it was. Shopping carts? All together in the hour, it was eight shopping carts full of stuff. Where did the, she, where did the thousand dollars number come from? That's, this? it was probably over that amount. Because yeah. there were totes full of things that we couldn't even see what was in them. Um, so what she's estimating. And you didn't happen to get her on video writing the statement, did you? Yes. She Actually. is on video writing the statement? Yes. Is I that, can add that to that. Yeah, if we wouldn't do that, that would just be a little icing on the cake, so to speak. The woman is arrested and taken to the cop car with very little resistance. The mother finally arrives to the scene, perhaps wondering if her scheme was finally revealed. Since you've been so cooperative, just put your hands in the front. I'm not gonna make you turn around and put mine in the back. And this is just eczema. Okay. I don't have like. Oh, is that contagious? No. 
I have no idea. Some fun now. No, that's not. I thought it was just birth marks that you had. No. So you think four off roof will make this as easy as possible? Okay. 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 Well, I might wait to see how much it is. That's fine. You can wait. Um, uh, like you said, 750 or less. It's a misdemeanor. Uh, I'm watching, I guess. So, how, how do they know? I guess they followed around the store and watched what Well, they got stuff. video cameras. I mean, everywhere. All over the place. All over yeah, the place. I know. So, you know, they, they invest big money into that kind of thing. And before they call us, they do their due diligence. So. Are they saying this is the only time? Do they suspect other? Uh, do right now, this is all this is all they're saying, and that's all she said. This is the first and only time. Um, so until we know otherwise, yeah, we're just treating this like a isolated ordeal. So mm. this woman was sent to jail for a few nights, but her charges are unclear. A mishap a with the car. A um, what? A mishap with the car. Mishap? I stored the car in the wrong location. Oh, okay. Trying to steal $60,000 car. Our first case takes place on the 24th of January, 2024. Officers were informed that an employee at a car rental company was attempting to steal a vehicle on the property after their shift was over. The cops arrived at Pace to confront the individual, who was caught red-handed. A brief interview with the suspect and the employer followed as the police tried to piece together the events as they unfolded and the motivations behind them. Here's what happened. I got it, man. Earlier today, What's, on, man? What's going on out here? A mishap miss happened with the car. A um, what? A mishap with the car. Mishap? I stored the car in the wrong location. Oh, okay. Is your car? No, I, I work here. You work here? I work here. So. Whose car is it? It's the, it's the company's car. I got you. So, where were you supposed to store it then? I didn't know. I didn't want to know where it went, so I dropped it off here and I went back over there and, and got another car and took it where I had to take it to. You took another car? Because yeah, I had to. Yeah. So did you take two cars then? I yes, I, I yes, I I take it to the airport. Okay. So you say you work out here? Yes, sir. For who? I work for Avery's Budget. Okay. Okay, so you guys go Yeah, on. so he drove it from over there. Okay, have your driver's license with you? Parked it. Oh, um, I have my social. Do you have an ID or anything? Yes, sir. So then they told you to get the vehicle after you were out of, uh, out of work or something? No, sir. So what were you doing? What were you trying to do since you had already clocked out? I was nothing. I'm getting ready to go home. You were getting ready to go home? Yes, sir. So Yes, sir. So why are you getting in this car? You you realize you realize that this story you, you know you know what a submarine is, right? Sir. You know what a submarine is, right? Like it goes under the water, you know, the US Navy uses them. You know what a screen door is, right? yes sir. Okay. Screen your story is like a screen door on a submarine. It ain't it ain't making a bit of sense and it ain't holding no water. Watch watch him. Earlier today I witnessed this car leave the Avis lot, okay. park in this lot, he got out of it. Okay. Um, he just got off work and said that he had left the car here, left the keys in it, which the keys were not in it when I looked at it an hour ago. Okay. Um, got in the car that was locked because I came out and checked. There was no keys and the car was locked. Got okay. in it and we blocked him in before he could take off. But. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume y'all want prosecution, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's is there a video that we can get of that vehicle coming out here? Do you guys have that? He didn't drive this one out here. I didn't give him a chance. Okay, so when you guys he, blocked yeah, that. Yeah, so he drove it from over there at 10.54 this morning. Okay. Parked it here. Normally okay. we don't back cars in here. Okay. Um, he got off work a few minutes ago, witnessed him come out to the car. Okay. After I'd already seen him leave the car at like 10.55 this morning, okay. he came out and he's telling me that the keys were in it. And I asked him what he's doing now. And he said he was just getting in the car to... Okay, so, did, so 
So did you witness him get in the car at all? Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. The cops have heard enough and are ready to legally detain the individual. How he reacts to that will massively influence how the rest of this case goes. What we're going to do right now, face that fence. Face the fence. Okay. Right now, you have a warrant for your arrest, minimum out of San Antonio. We're confirming that. So you're not under arrest at this point in time, but you are being legally detained. Okay, you have anything on you that's going to poke us, stick us, stab us, blow us up, anything like that? No, sir. Okay, because he's going to pat you down real quick. Yes, sir. Um, because... Like I said, you real you realize this story makes zero sense that you're telling me. I mean, just Sir, be I, be I, I honest, honest. I, 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 be a thousand percent honest. I'm, I'm so you're honest. telling me that you're such yeah. a good employee that working for the temp company and everything. I'm not working that, with the temp company. I work directly with Avis Budget. I okay, didn't. so you're telling me that you're such a good employee that after you clocked out, you're gonna keep moving cars for them for free? No, I wasn't. Well, you said you were. You said you've already clocked out and you were gone Sir, for the day and you were coming over to this car. Sir, this this car has been sitting here since 12. Okay, I mean, but you you told us already you clocked out for the day. I just and that you were coming out. over here. Okay. All right, I'm going to verify something with them. Yes, sir. And we're going to we're going to go from there. Not only did the suspect try to steal a car totaling $60,000, but there was already a warrant on his head. Now police have more evidence to suggest that he isn't complying with the law after they search his person. We got extra stuff too. Oh, okay. So, I mean, two pieces of identifying oh. information, credit cards. Oh, nice. Supposedly, it was, was in a vehicle. He forgot to turn it in. Okay. Well, too bad. <laughs> let me let me inform him of that. It's going to be possession of identifying information. And then we can call the guy and see the credit cards we're used to. It. Yeah. We might have yeah, more to it. Credit debit card. Mm -hmm. But uh, the manager is going to check and see if... Somebody had a reservation with that man too. Okay. All right. Cameron. All right. Because you have these things in your pro in your possession right yeah. here, you are also going to be charged sir. with fraudulent use or possession of identifying I, inform of identifying information. You said that you you found them in the car and all that. If you'd have turned them in. That'd have been something Sir, different. Been so that's going to be, and they around. have processes that when you find stuff in the cars, you go and you turn that in immediately. So we've been moving around okay. so much today, so I, it slipped my mind, sir. Okay. And if you use them, then there will be additional charges I, follow, I, okay? I, I All right. I'm just giving you the heads up. Thank you. Sir. The man was charged with fraud, use, and possession of identifying info items. Why would, why would you take a call from Never done anything to, like, so, Minister, so he's been your friend though, but how do you know nothing about him though? I, I don't know his real name. I right. think his name is Just Emmanuel. Just face this deputy for me, Federal Lakes. Right, right. Right. And then face the deputy to my right. Cricket employee, Grand Theft Auto. Our next case begins on the 15th of March, 2023. Orange County deputies were on patrol when dispatch informed them that a stolen vehicle had been spotted in the vicinity. From that moment, the hunt began, with the officers spotting and chasing down the car in question. They follow it to a cricket store where they confront an employee who had driven the stolen vehicle to work that day. In the rear, I'm coming down Martian now. I was behind you guys. The Metro PCS, right? Yeah, he's the No, the cricket. Okay. Are they moving or what are they doing? We're moving in right now. All right. Patrol, we can pull right over the median and go in there. I'm lost or lost the car. All right, we're moving in right now. Two of us are coming up to the intersection right now. That's your car? No. It's your friend's car? And you're driving it? Why are you driving it? I needed a ride to work, ride to work today. Step around right here for me. Okay. <clears throat> Have a seat. Don't go nowhere. Stay right there. Do you have ID for me? Do you have ID on you, man? Do you have ID? It's in the back in my purse. Are you hearing all traffic? I have ID. Alright, what's your first name? What's your last name? Torres. For the Z or an S? E, uh, S. Uh, and you guys get your Miranda card on these? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Just real quick. Stand up for me real quick. Just stand, lay your hands behind your back for me. I can't move this arm. It's paralyzed. It's, it's paralyzed? But you can't move it back anyways? I can't. I can't even pick it up. Okay. But you can still do that though, right? I can grab it with the thing like this. Okay. That's okay. The woman puts together a convincing argument that she's received the car from someone else in the local area, placing the blame on him. How long have you had been in possession of the car for? I got it yesterday. Yesterday around what time? I was, wait, 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 what's today? I went uh, half a day yesterday, so I got to work at 2. I had it at like a, maybe 10 something. 10 a.m. or 10 p.m.? No, in the morning. 10 a.m.? Yeah, it might have okay. been And you got it from this guy? Yes. Okay, what does this guy look like? He's tall and he's Spanish and he has long hair. In the, sorry, guys, I got oh Okay. He has long hair, like, um... Like the, you know the Spanish people, mullet, not the Yeah, I kind like of talking about. Like okay. Yes. What kind of skin tone? Like mine. Okay, medium. Like okay, how old is he? He's probably like my age. I'm 30. He's probably like 30, maybe 31. Okay, and you have no idea where he lives at though? I don't, he lives in, as far as I know, he lives everywhere. He's the last time that, um, hold on, because the last time that he was living anywhere, he was living on Beach Street. Beach Street? Yes. Okay. Okay, all right. Reason why you're in cuffs, because that car is stolen. So, all right, and you're last seen in the driver's seat of the vehicle. So, so yeah, so you're unfortunately you're gonna own up to that today, okay? So, all right. Is that the, is that the only time you've had the car? It was from yesterday. Have Have you ever been inside the car besides yes, yesterday? Yes, yes, I have been inside the car once before. Okay, when was that? Uh. Few days ago. Okay. Um, okay. Who else has been driving this car? Oh, just him. Just, just him? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't, have, I don't even have okay. So, where's the car been staying at then? Well, I don't know. I've, I had it parked at my house. And you don't know where it was parked at after that? Or before that? No, I have no idea. Another employee walks into work and is informed of what's happening. The cops are ready to take her away for questioning, and they search her before moving her from the premises. They also took this opportunity to search the car. Yeah. All right, come on in. Here you, Alex. Part of it. Hello. All right, just give me one second. Come over here. Talk here. to you. I'm over here. All right, so are you the, the employee here? The yeah. other employee? All right, go. Cool. Um, all right, so we just want to make sure somebody stays here. She's going to get arrested today, all right? So you will Perfect. be taking over. No, yeah, for sure. Perfect. Uh, you know why we're here? No idea. You don't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Well, like she, yeah, she, she will get arrested. So we just need somebody to stay here, not we don't leave the store open. All right. She can, she can explain that to you later if she wants to. We're not gonna tell you. She can tell you. Uh, but yes, just that's all we can tell you right now. Okay. My normal plan was oh? I gotta call my boss. That's fine. Yeah, You're good. So if you want to go there, it's probably uh, why, why would Why would you take a call from a kid? He's been my friend for a long time. He's never done anything to like. So, let me ask He's been your friend though, but how do you know nothing about him though? I, I don't know his real name. I think his name is Eman West. Face this deputy for me, spread your legs. Spread, I'm sorry. spread. And then face the deputy to my right. You want all your stuff? There you go. Is this the key to the car? Yep. Yes, sir. Alright, just turn around for me. Just lean against the wall. See, so we'll have a bond, okay? It's a thousand bucks, okay? So, if you can't afford a thousand dollars, you can go through a bondsman. You're so, you're required to put up 10%, so a hundred dollars through a bondsman, okay? And, uh, can they buy themselves out? Yeah, right. Sorry. They can buy themselves out, right? Yeah. With a card? Uh, with a card? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Am I, are you guys unable to unlock my card from my phone so that I yeah, because no, they're gonna because they're gonna let you get access to your contacts, so you have some some people to call. Okay, uh, but just realize that they're gonna go on. What do I have to do after this? Like, what is my next step? So if you let's say you bond out. Okay, uh, we're gonna get a good we're gonna get a good address, a good phone number for you. What will happen is the state attorney's office will be in contact with you. The woman was charged with grand theft auto. She may not have stolen from her employer, but she did get arrested at her place of work. You stole six. $15,000 from me since January. What did you want to say? I'm honestly just so sorry. I mean, I don't expect you to go to me. Plato's closet employee steals over $20,000. Our next case takes place on the 14th of September, 2022 in Charlotte County. Plato's closet found that they were missing over $20,000 in funds and naturally called the police to investigate. However, the business had their theory 
that it was an employee who was responsible for the theft. After discovering that the employee had been involved in fraudulent transactions in the database for several months, the cops were asked to act and bring an end to this scheme. Watch as they speak with the manager to get to the bottom of this run of events. No, absolutely not. Front no, sir. Okay. Um, now, the video surveillance, um, I noticed there's the 14th of this morning. Yep. And if I got that correct, you can't pull up any records or print out. Are you able to print out anything from the registers? From maybe yesterday, but not today. Okay. So nothing from today. So now, like, yeah. I know some registers, like, you can't do a finalized report up front, but you might be able to print, like, a... Yeah, I can probably, I can probably call Laura and get it done, and okay. she might be able to do it and send it over to me. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Now, I those you have cameras are the 14th and 12th. What happened to the 13th? There was two days there. Were you able to get a third day? Is today the 14th or the 13th? Today's the 14th. It was, it was the 13th and 14th she did, not on the 12th. Did I put the 12th? We'll just ask. I thought, yeah, so you wrote 12 on the envelope. Yeah. So, all right, so the date is wrong on the envelope. So it's and today and yesterday. and yesterday. Yeah. Okay. And did you go back to look at anything on the On uh, today's? Was she working on the 12th? On the 12th? Um, no, there, there, wasn't, there wasn't any discretions on, the, on that. Okay. Yeah, there's no discretions right. on that. As far as, if you look at those sheets that I gave you, I think it was just the 13th and the 14th. I think the 12th is clear. Okay. Because what we're going to try to do is we're going to try a 12th door, okay, okay. and try to get a confession out of it. Right. Because right now, I'm trying to push for a scheme of fraud or a felony, but right now, right. the only evidence that we have is the misdemeanor theft. Okay. Okay, which is okay. today. Because all, all we have right now that we can document yeah. and we have evidence on yeah. is her stealing money today and stealing money yesterday. Okay, right. Now, so as far as the other... Yeah. Nine months, eight months. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, this, this can't be pushed further, correct? Because I mean, I, that, that's just. Yeah, she, she we got would, in there we, we'd have to really, like. Yeah, I know. And, oh, and I know. So the, yeah, with the evidence there. And that's why I reached yeah. out. These are some of my detectives that are coming with me today. Yeah, yeah. And we were just trying, like, we, we, like listen, we're, I'm, we're trying to push yeah. for the felony and all that kind of money. But as far as like, the evidence, you know, the state could sit there and turn around and be like, well, how do we prove just because... Yeah, so she gets on the computer. It's her yeah. number. She's the only one that can get in the computer with her yeah. number. That's why the inventory. See, yeah. That's why I told you about I, that inventory. If I, you're willing to do the inventory, the other thing is... Yeah, um, I already talked to my people. They said, yeah, here's the, the call data scan. Get it, do the inventory. She's worried okay. about no, I'll, I will do it. To get my $16,000 back, I will do it. Okay. Satisfied with what they've been informed, the police then move to talk with the employee in question, who starts on quite an honest footing. The longer the interview goes the more her story unravels and the darker truths emerge. A bit to tell her sob story doesn't negate the facts that have been presented. So, I wanted to talk to you because I have video surveillance, mm -hmm. okay, about the past couple days while you've been working, doing these buys. Yeah. Okay, then you take these buys, I see you on camera, taking cash, putting it in your pants. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, um, um, i just been having some stuff that I don't want, and, uh, well, s majority of it is, yeah, I shouldn't be taking money from him. Um, for two times I have done that. Um, the other times, um... No, have you brought, where is this stuff that you brought in? Um, it's already, like, out on the floor. But it's just been like two purses and a pair of shoes. But anything else, I. Uh, you said honesty has been a big yeah. Thing I here. just because I've watched the video surveillance. It is yeah. not, you're oh, not yeah. bring, you're not bringing anything in the store. You're not bringing. Well, any the lot the last like probably like I want to say two weeks ago, I have been. I brought in uh, two purses and a pair of shoes, but. Um, for the rest of the part, the rest of the times I haven't. So you would say only twice, is that, am I correct? Only twice you brought in actual merchandise, swapped it out? Yes. But the other, the rest of the times you have done these transactions, you just scam the register yeah. to think that there was a buy done? Yes. Okay. I'm After a long and detailed interview, the employee is asked to retrieve her items so that she can be taken to jail. Although she's emotional about her crimes, she complies fully. This is today's buddy. 
Well, yeah, it was $183 is what she said okay. was, was... So why don't you go ahead and count that for me? Good Lord. Holy God. And are you... This is today? No. I think some of that is three, my money, but I'm... Just Seventy. Well, three seventy-four. And how much was stolen in the past? How much did you take in the past two days? Can I talk to him? To who? Aaron. Aaron, she wants to say something to you. She wants to talk to you. Sixteen thousand dollars. You ripped me off. I could be doing good instead of I'm taking out a loan to survive because you stole sixteen thousand dollars from me since January. What did you want to say? I'm honestly just so sorry. I mean, I don't expect you to pay me. I expect you to pay me back. Oh, I, I, I am. I need to pay you back. I don't expect you to forgive me. I was good to you. I mean, nothing but good to you. Always treated you as my number it, one. It was, number it one. was nothing against you. It was my personal issues. It was not. It was nothing toward you. I believe. All right. I'm gonna grab your bag. You're just gonna call me, right? Okay. Um, do I have to go to the front? I'm not gonna put you in here, sorry. We're just gonna walk out. We're just gonna walk out the front door, okay? Okay. The woman was charged with felony grand theft and had to pay back the funds she had stolen. Hey man, I need you to roll over. You're you gonna get tased. You need to roll right. over. You need to roll, roll over. over. You're gonna get tased intoxicated employee chaos at Atlanta office building. This next case takes place on the 20th of May, 2022. Officers in Doralville were asked to attend the Peachtree Renaissance office building after an intoxicated employee had arrived on the scene. The employee had been fired for repeatedly turning up to work under the influence of alcohol and wanted revenge. Attacking former co-workers and exhibiting aggressive behavior, the police rushed to the premises as quickly as possible to bring order back to the chaos. Here's how it all played out. Get this arm right here. This one right here. Relax, man. Man, I relax. 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 You got him? You got him? Yep. Uh, He's trying to kick me. Right, yeah, yeah, watch his legs. Watch his legs. Watch his legs. Hey, man, I need you to roll over. You're going to get tased. You need to roll right? over. You need to roll over. You're going to get tased. Roll over. 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 Hold on. Roll over. Hey, hey. Roll over. Roll over. Hey, come on here, man. Hey, come on. Is I don't give a damn. I don't really Look, it's, it's over. About that, it's, it's, it's over, all right? It's not over. Let's, let's go ahead and let's it's walk out, man. Over. It's over. Uh, it's over. It's not over. When I tell you this shit, it's not over. The dramatic scene that officers arrived to required them to make difficult decisions. But even now, the suspect is refusing to comply, making it difficult for the cops to move him to their vehicle. Hey, let's get you back here. No, 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 no. What's your name? What's your name, brother? Don't worry about my name. All right, just calm down, man. Calm down, man. Calm down. We good. All right. We were good. It's good, man. We all right, all right? We good. We good. We good. Calm down. Just walk down stairs real quick, That's all. We just hey, stay till walking down there, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, for real. Come on. Man, because I'm really real now. Come on. I don't give a about y'all. Come on. Man, damn. Come on. Alright, man, man. Oh, good, man. Oh, good, man. Man, that's not me. Good, man. Oh, I'm the cook. 
No, 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 no. We're almost there. Nice and easy. All right, let's go. Man, little, little, nice and I'm asking nice you. Right. The cops return back to the officer to talk with eyewitnesses and get their full statement. They're clearly shaken by the events. Back in the cop car, the suspect is freaking out and becoming verbally abusive. As soon as he, soon as he go up to him, he. As soon as he come around the corner, he swings on him, boom. So he's really, he ain't even trying to fight him back. He really just holding him down. Right, 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 yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So and then he was just trying to Is kick. he all right? Where is he at? He had to get on the bus and leave, but he's okay. He the one who hurt, because he had to, you know, hit him upside the head a couple of times, but he was just, he was just tripping. Like, so, all, all because he drunk. Uh, he works here. And okay. he would go to the liquor store. He'd come to work drunk. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And he would go to the liquor store and it breaks and it just, it just escalated Elevated. from there. He knocked her phone out So he just talked about it. So I asked him to leave and he just punched my phone out my hand and I asked the guy, the only guy here to come get him and he just held him down. Okay. And he was well, acting a, a fool. And he was even saying that he was going to slap everybody in the office if he I'm got up. And I'm That's doing crazy. this, I'm going to do that. You know, he was drunk and acting stupid. And I was trying to talk to him and like, listen, so calm down you about to go to jail. Chill. Like, chill out. Yeah. He didn't hear none of that. Like, alcohol no. make you do crazy stuff. That's yeah, crazy. Because alcohol ain't like, never made me No, but he's like mixing that. gin and vodka. That's the problem. No, alcohol ain't yeah. like, never ate, man. No. I don't give a damn. You're You're right. I have never been in the market. And go yeah, say, mixing those two jeans. 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 I'm finna kick the door. I'm uh, finna do it. Nah, y'all wanna do that, man. You gonna make it I'm work. I'm just walk my m oh. All right, so those are all three of the, um, the ladies that work up there. Okay. What's that? The charges. The charges? Yeah, what you. What the you, charges is? Let's see. You got obstruction. Okay. Okay. That's that between y'all. And then also, also, you probably got terroristic threats, and then you threatened to kill them. Eventually, the officers take the suspect to the hospital as they're really concerned for his health. But the abusive behavior continues, hitting and spitting at staff members. Uh, I'll go run in there and say we got somebody. Did he said this early? Now he calmed down until we got a little bit closer and he started just screaming again, but he hasn't been kicking or spitting. Who's going to start? Yeah, I know. He told me already he's going to try to clean on me first. <laughs> and then he's going for you, so. Hey, sweet. So heads up on that. <laughs> he's talking to me. You gonna still spit? I got a spit mask. So you wanna put it on? Or you gonna act right? Huh? That's it. I'm ready to swing. You gonna swing? Yeah. You gonna swing on me? <laughs> Come on, man. Why you acting like that, bro? Man, cause I want to get out this cat. So if we get you out, why you gonna start swinging? First of you all, think, look, keep asking y'all. Look, look, look. If I was, if you were in my position right now, and if I was telling you. I'm gonna swing on you. Would you want to open I'm the door? I'm at Brady Hospital. I'm finna get all the way down. I'm finna get all the way the down. Just because you got Grady? Exactly. Why you gonna do that, bro? Because, because I keep asking you I, look, look. certain I get it. I keep asking you about these cups. Okay. I keep asking you about opening the door. Y'all yeah. wouldn't do it. That's because you saw how you were acting, man. Y'all. You were spitting before you asked that. Man, no, no, no. You were kicking That's before you asked that. that. Yeah. You were kicking the window okay. before we, you we even said you opened come the out, door. Nick, get ready. What you gonna do? I'm gonna swing on you. That's gonna be worse if you do that. I don't give a damn. It's unclear what the suspect was charged with, but resisting arrest and abusing police officers were certainly probably on the list. Absolutely scared to death. I understand. Listen. I have never been arrested before. I got into a fight when I was 17, and that was it. No, I, I get it. I, I completely understand. I really didn't. <laughs> I understand that, but unfortunately, it... I know. Manager steals $12,000. Our next case begins on the 29th of February, 2023. Police were asked to attend a local Murphy gas station where around $12,000 had been stolen from the property. As the investigation got underway, it became clear that it was actually the manager who had pocketed the cash. The officers arrived to talk with the employee who had made this allegation to get more context on the evidence stacked against the manager and how this theft had taken place. 
So I go and she, we're at this meeting together in Savannah. I talked to her. She's like, no, I did it, but I didn't put it back in the safe like I'm supposed to. I just shoved it in this backpack that we use on top. I go, well, okay. So I interview her other employees that were here that day over the phone. They're like, hey, we didn't do it. Well, we get a report from our office saying, hey, the previous day hasn't gotten to the bank yet either. Okay. So I come up here to look at the DM, and we start talking to her, and she finally confesses, hey, I stole the deposit. But I used it to pay back another deposit I lost five weeks ago. Her claim is she's been floating deposits, so she steals today's to pay for yesterday's. Okay. And she's been kind of doing this all along, except she's gotten behind. Huh. So, of course, she never told anybody she lost the initial deposit. Yeah. She never reported it because she was worried about her job. This is what she's telling us. No, you- Unfortunately, and so up to this point where she realizes she's busted. The thing about our camera system is it may have gone into safe mode, which means it still records, but nobody can get into it. We've sent it back to the company to see. It's doubtful, but it, regardless, I explained that to him, and that's when she, or to her, and that's when she said, okay, I did take the deposit. Oh, and by the way, now that I take that one from the 15th, I also took today's. To cover? To try to cover some of that one. Okay. Right, but I haven't gotten both in there. She brought back the original, she went home and brought back the original deposit back, the empty deposit back that she stole from the 15th, as well as today's minus about 1400 Okay. We still think we're missing the other one, but with the banks being closed, we can't verify it. And okay. she swears she dropped it off. Okay, so on the 15th of this month. Correct. Last Wednesday. There was a deposit that was never, never deposited. And she admitted to that. That she didn't take it when she was supposed to, but doesn't state that she didn't know how it got lost. She left it here, no, but nobody could find it. Okay. And then deposit from today. Today was also missing. Okay. After this in-depth analysis of the evidence and firm eyewitness statement, the police moved to interview the witness who is being kept in a separate room. While she tries to play the victim throughout her series of statements. She does not find any sympathy among the group. What happened with the deposits? Just tell me. I will tell you exactly what happened. Give me, yes, give me your. Approximately five to six weeks ago, my husband was taken to the hospital via ambulance having a stroke like event. Okay. So I panicked when I left from here. I left with the deposit in the bag, like I always do, with my intention of stopping at the bank, putting it in the night trap, and going straight to the hospital. Okay. Instead, I drove straight to the hospital because I was not focusing on anything. Okay. I was there for seven or eight hours. It was almost midnight when I went to come home. My little thing on my car, on the inside of my car where I keep, like, my ID, my debit card, and all that stuff, was open. I didn't think anything of it, shut it, went home, slept for three and a half hours, and was back here at four o'clock the next day to open up like I do every day. Okay. Did everything like normal, went to the bank and asked for the receipt from the night drop for the deposit. They did not have one. And that's when I started to panic. My debit card was gone. My credit card was gone. The deposit was gone. So someone was obviously in my car. Okay. What hospital did you go to? Uh, not Advent. The one Ocala. I'm not from o- here. Ocala so Regional? Right. Yes. I didn't park in the parking garage or in the parking lot because where I'm from, everything, you have to pay for it. And I didn't have money to pay for it. So I parked on the street. Gotcha. Walked about a block to get there. Didn't think, I didn't think anything of it. Okay. And then that's when I started to panic. And I'm like, I'm going to get fired for this missing. I didn't take it. You can look at my bank stuff. It'll prove I didn't take it. I am completely broke. It has nothing to do with that. I can pay all of my bills and put food on the table and that's it. Okay. There's no, I didn't, I did not benefit from this in any way, shape or form other than keeping my job. All right. What about yesterday's deposit? What happened? I wasn't here yesterday. Or today's, today's deposit. I handed everything I have to him. The woman is resisting to go with the officer, but regardless, she has to go into his vehicle to be processed. Clearly emotional, her excuses make no difference to the evidence. Absolutely scared to death. I understand. Listen. I have never been arrested before I got into a fight when I was 
17 and that was it. No, I, I get it. I, I completely understand. I really didn't take it. I understand that, but unfortunately, it... I know. The money's missing, and you were the last one, I and know, had you made a report, you could have avoided all of this, most likely. No, but, I mean, but right now, you were the last one, and I then, no, I unfortunately... Can't. It's literally scary right now. I understand that. I don't. And, and like I said, once I figure out what the, the bond looks like, I'll let you know. I will, listen, I will give you every piece of information I have for you, okay? I'm not going to keep anything. I'm not going to hide anything. I'm, I'm going to be upfront with you as much as I can. The woman was charged with grand theft. It's an incredible sum of cash to try and steal.